before we create this zap we have to create some sample data for the zap to use and to do that we need to create a podio record a lead and then have that lead use trigger this zap that we created in the previous tutorial to add a subscriber which then links it to the sequence and sends out an email because what we need is that email and the unsubscribe link below as well as the podio record in order to make everything work otherwise podio or zapier doesn't know the data that we need so let's do that first so I'm going to go into uh, my Podio setup, add a new property, add the address, the name, sample, lead, and this email address, make sure you use an email address that you have access to because you'll need to get the email and click on the unsubscribe link. And let's click on if one of these. Now before we actually save this, I want you to do one thing. I want you to go over to convert kit go to your sequences and the sequence that you're going to set this lead up for this Podio new leads we want you to make it so it sends out immediately so you can set this value if you have it set to one day just come in here and reset this value to zero which then will make it immediate so now this is going to be sent out immediately, so I don't have to wait for the email to come. It will be sent within five minutes of me creating the subscriber. We're good, so we'll save. And then come back to Podio and finish this off. So I'm selecting this Podio new lead, which equates to that sequence that I just showed you. Now we'll save. And we'll know this works when we get the subscriber ID back. The subscriber has been created. Now this subscriber ID is what we're going to use to look up the Podio lead once the, the unsubscribe link is clicked. All right, so that part's set. Convert kit, and you'll see the, we'll go to the subscriber. There's the sample. Now sometimes this takes a little bit to run the automation and send out the emails. Instead of making you wait, I'm going to pause the video until I get the emails and then we'll continue. Okay, that took a few minutes and now we can see that the sequence, the automation, and I've gotten the email right here. So this email is from my automation sequence and right here is the unsubscribe button. So we're going to need this in the first step to click unsubscribe in order for Zapier to get the sample data that we need. So let's go over to Zapier and start creating the zap. So we'll click make a zap. First one is convert kit. The trigger is convert kit. And we'll select new unsubscribe save and continue select our tutorial or convert kit connection we'll test that out if you don't have a convert kit connection yet you can click here connect an account it'll ask you and give you a link to go get your convert kit api key which is in your convert kit account settings save and continue and now this is where we have to click the unsubscribe. I have this sample data in here already because I've done this before, but I can't use any of these because they aren't linked to a current lead in my Podio app. So now pick a sample to set here, samples, so we have to get more samples. So pulling samples, so let's try to go into our email and click unsubscribe. Confirm on subscription, unsubscribe, 
go back to Podio. Okay, and we have three. I don't know which one it is, so I'm going to have to go and check the data. You can do by clicking on the down arrow. The one that has selected, I think, is old. So, yeah, that's not the one we used. If you remember, we used 804 Brook Hollow Drive Whippany. So let's go back here, and I think it's this one right here. And 804 Brook Hollow Drive Whippany. Item ID, item ID, subscription ID. Okay, that's the one we want to use. So we click that. And down here, hit continue. So that's our first step. The next step, if you look at the tutorial, is to find the Podio item that we're going to update. So the way Zapier works is you need to find the item before you can update it. Let's go back to Zapier, add step, active search, action search, select Podio, we have to do find item, save and continue, use your Podio connection, test it out. If you don't have a Podio connection already, you can connect an account by clicking this button. Save and continue. Now we have to select the organization, workspace, and application that the field or that the item we want to update is in. So in my case, it's organization, struggling investor, workspace, SI lead manager tutorial, application, is going to be properties. Now here's search field. We'll select the subscriber ID or the convert kit ID, depending on how you labeled it in Podio. So this field is equal to this field. And next we do the search field value. So this is the value that we're going to search on, which we will get from the triggering item number one, the triggering action, and that is the subscriber ID. Now this uh, search is set up, so we'll continue. And then when we fetch and continue, this should go to Podio and grab the record of the lead that has this subscribe ID. And that's why we needed to set that up in Podio first, right here. So fetch and continue. Test successful. Well, that's good. Okay. Now the next step will be to do a... The next thing we need to do is get a date for the current date and time that this app is running so we can uh, put that in the, our log field so we know when the lead has unsubscribed. So we'll do an add step, action search, and now we're going to be selecting formatter by Zapier. And we'll use the date time, save and continue. And then for the transform option or field, we'll select format. And then for the values, we'll click this drop down. And for the values, we will use this code right here. This code is a Zapier code that gives you the current date and time. So we just have to type it in. In my case, I'm going to cut and paste it. So copy. And when you paste it, it'll turn into a Zapier field token. Just like that. It turns green like that, you know you got it right. So now we do the two format. And we don't, I don't like any of these predefined formats. They're just a little bit off. What I like is to use the custom value. And then in this custom value for to format is where you put the formatting in. So I like capital Y's for the year, four of them. And then MM 
for the month, dash day day for the day, space lowercase two h's for the hours, lowercase m's for the minutes, lowercase s's for the seconds, and then we'll put an a that will tell the formatter to use am or pm and use a 12 hour time instead of the 24 hour military time. Okay, now in the two time zone, we'll select our time zone. I'm on the East Coast, so US Eastern. And for the from format and from time zone, we'll just leave them as default. So we'll continue. And then we'll send test. And now looks good. So now we have to add one more step to this process and that step is going to be the update of the Podio item. And that's right here. So let's click add item, add a step, select Podio, update item, save and continue. Select our Podio connection, test it out. This is the same connection that we used in the previous step two. You don't have to create a new connection for every action. You can reuse the same connection. Save and continue. Select the organization. Every time you have a Podio action, you have to select the organization, the workspace, and the application. It's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. So this is where the item is located that I want to update. So now item to be updated. We don't have a specific item we want to update. We just want to update the one that was found in step number two. So we'll click use a custom value advanced. And then for the custom value, we'll select the item ID from step number two that we found. So Drop that down, select item ID. So now this is telling this action that we're updating this item. And for this item, we need to at least provide it with the required fields. I wish you could just leave these blank and it would keep the required fields, but Zapier doesn't like that and needs you to re enter it. So what I do is just repopulate it with what I found in the item that I got from step two. So we can just take address, search for address, and we'll use the address formatted style. And then for me, this works. You may have other required fields, so you'll have to go through here and just repopulate those with the exact same data that you found in this. But after that, we'll update the, the log file. So to do that, let's go to the tutorial that we that I wrote up and so copy and select this code right here. Or copy and paste that code. Come over here, paste that in. And you can see the field tokens that are you're copying and pasting from the tutorial don't exist yet. So they come out green and say no data. So we just have to replace those with our with what we found so far in our zap. So let's delete this, and this is the date, or this is the uh, what's in the log field already. So let's search for log, and then log value right here. We'll click this. What we're trying to do here is add on to what's already in the field. So by bringing in the values for the log that already exists, we're making sure we don't delete it and rewrite over it, we're adding to it. So after what's in there, we add it. This, is, this code is for a, a new line. And then we'll add in this new line to the log. And this field right here, that has no data is actually the date and that will match up with 
right here, this action date and the output value. So it's down here, step number three, click the output, and now we're done with this, this field. The only other field that I'm going to update, and if you have one, is I'm going to change the status of this lead to dead because if they've unsubscribed, they're probably not interested in my service. So I'm going to set the status to dead. And now this, this action step is done and our, and our zap is complete. So we have to hit continue. We'll do a test. So if we see, go back to our Podio item, this is how it currently stands. And you'll see the status is not marked yet. But it should turn to dead once I say test. So send test to Podio. Okay, test has been sent. It's successful. Let's check it out. Yep. So now on 2.14, 9.41, this lead is unsubscribed. And the status has changed to dead. Now the last thing we have to do is just finish this zap up. Give it a name. Unsubscribed. And, oops, spelled it wrong. and then activate it. So that's all that's to this unsubscribe. It's, it's pretty straightforward. The hardest part is just setting up the sample data so you can successfully create the zap. So hopefully you don't have any questions. If you do, leave me a comment below or send me an email at scott at strugglinginvestor.com.